Hey guys, welcome back. We are back for golly sense for the people. And uh, you know, we have been very busy and uh, we apologize for not getting more content out. I know that uh, you guys checked out the uh, Godly on the Go, had a couple segments at Navy Pier, wasn't that fun? That was. Um, but the word won't, so we're gonna hit you with the word first. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. Hit the bell. And also give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, man, we haven't done one of these in a while, so it's kind of it's kind of nice getting back to these, right? Yeah. The devil cycle. So the devil tends to have us on this cycle. What we're when <laughs> when we're repeating things, and yeah. uh, he, you know, he studies us. He has his little henchmen, demons, mm -hmm. to study us, yeah. and you know. Of course, we can't see them naturally, but you know they're there spiritually. Mm -hmm. And when they study us, they try to focus on our negative points. And that's when I'm gonna roll it over to Matilda. Yes, the cycles of the enemy. So that's his game plan. He tries to keep you in that cycle, repeating the same things over and over again, just like he did with the children of Israel, right? So God frees the Israelites after 400 years in slavery and bondage. For hundo. Yeah, only supposed to travel, um, what? Days, I don't know. Yeah. Or something to the to it the was other a, side. it was a last least amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um to the land flowing of milk and honey ends up being 40 years. Why? Because they murmured and complained. I mean, think about it. You're in the desert going to this place, you have the same clothes on, nowhere to take a bath. God kept them clean smelling, he kept their clothes looking good, their feet weren't worn, nothing like that. Um, provided light for them at Did night. Did he protect them too from the enemy? Yeah, he protected himself. them. Yeah. Um, even when the when the um, Pharaoh was going after him, God put a divider in in them, the fire in between, so that they wouldn't touch him. You know. Yeah. When he uh, delivered them at the sea, you know, he the parted red, the, the red, red sea. sea. Yeah. And then all the enemies got drowned. You know. And through everything, all these miracles that, that God did to deliver them, they still murmured and complained. Mm -hmm. So they made um, false gods when Moses went up into the mountain. Mm -hmm. um, they created the gods for themselves saying, oh, let's, let's get all the gold and make this a calf and this will be our God, you yeah, know? Yeah. And God was furious. Um, yeah, he was. So, so he kept them in a cycle. And God said, hey, you don't want to listen. You want to remain in that cycle. You're going to die in that cycle. Um, so we definitely don't want to do that. No, not at all. So um, like Jeremiah 17 and 5 says, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. You know, in Exodus 24 through 5, he says, You shall not make for yourselves a carved image like they did. Mm -hmm. You know, likeness of anything in heaven above or on earth. You know, don't bow down to to the enemy. But, you know, and what does he do? The Proverbs 18, 21 says, The death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit, will eat, yeah, the fruit of it. So what does he get us to do? Because we are like God, right? What comes out of our mouth is spirit and life, whether it speaks negative or speaks God's word, right? So with those very words, murmuring and complaining keeps you in the same cycle, Yikes. you know? You don't, you, you gotta renew your mind. You gotta speak positive. You gotta speak the word to come against it because our tongue is yes. like a sword of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So that is something to, to be, you know, grateful for. Uh, the enemy cycle is just, you know, this intense, but as, at the same time, it's an attack. Yes. And uh, 
And if it's not broken, you know, that's where generational curses come in. Now it goes down to the next generation. Oh, Same good point. cycles happen Very until good point. it's broken. How do you break it? You can break it by how you react to it, right? You can, we're supposed to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So when you're aware of the enemy's devices and he comes and brings something at you and you recognize that it's a cycle, then you go against that. You speak against it. You act differently. Yeah. And as you do that, then deliverance comes and then God gives you revelation and, and gives you, you know, more of what you need or more of what to do, you know? Yes. So. That was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully, like I said, you, you know, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're enjoying this content, we got 160 followers, guys. We appreciate it. We're going to get up to 200 yeah. and keep moving. Yeah. Uh, I want to throw you our next segment, which is going to be store-bought freshies. So these are um, <clears throat> particular fragrances that are from uh, TJ Maxx, you know, different companies, different stores, uh, different brands are gonna be store-bought freshies. So these are uh, <clears throat> particular fragrances that are from uh, TJ Maxx, you know, different companies, different stores, uh, different brands versus designers. You know, uh, these are fragrances that you can afford uh, you know, if you want to, you don't know, deal with buying cheapies, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody can't afford uh, designers. You know, I had a couple friends, you know, that recently bought a couple designers off me, which was nice, guys. If you uh, are interested in buying fragrances for me, from me, email me. Uh, you know, my Instagram is at godlyson2187. So I throw my Instagram up there and. Uh, you know, also guys, just subscribe. Please help us out, make it uh, visible for. Right, so, let's start with Abercrombie and Finch. All right. This is a great fragrance because it's Abercrombie and Finch uh, First Instinct Blue. So there you have it. The bottle is nothing spectacular, but this has a fresh scent to it. Spicy. Mm -hmm. It's woody. Uh, here, you smell it right there. Dry down. Yeah, is the light. dry down is very light. Uh, you can have it for the late uh, leisure time, the clean. daily, it's business, sporty. Yeah, it's sporty mm -hmm. and clean. Uh, like I said, the bottle is not, you know, nothing spectacular. I was a big, you know, Abercrombie fan when I was, you know, in high school or college. So, you know, kids can go get this as their first bottle. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. uh, has apple, bergamot in it, cardamom, a uh, little fruitiness, lavender. Most of these fragrances I'm going to be mentioning has lavender in it. A um, little mix with amber and vanilla uh, and sandalwood to t uh, top it off just gives off that surfer vibe but yet cool and calm and collected mm -hmm. smells like uh you know the ocean yes more aquatic notes mm -hmm. on that it but it's pretty good right yes i enjoy that and i have the female version too absolutely gonna toss it over to her right here nice <sighs> Abercrombie, what's yours called? It's just original. Mine right? is Abercrombie and Fitch, Fitch First Instinct Share. So this particular one. You got too much fragrances in the air. Yeah. So this we sprayed one, a little bit before we started. Yeah. <laughs> we sprayed it on these little things here. Yeah. So this one has bergamot in it, pink pepper. Um, some orange blossom, Lily of the Valley. Nice. It has uh, musk, wood, amber. Yes. Um, mine lasts about seven hours. How much? How long does yours? Mine last? are all going to last about six hours. Six hours. Six okay. to seven, okay. around right. that range. Uh, for the store bought TJ Maxx, mm -hmm. and uh, designers be a little longer. Yeah. So the this one you could wear daily, business, um, summer, spring, also. So that's good. Um, of course, women, for women. It's uh, woody, fruity, um, fresh, floral, 
Okay. So, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. But it, it but it, it does have a pee-ish urine smell well, that she doesn't like. Right? When you first spray it. Like the dry down on this isn't bad. It's like I can't put my uh, finger on it, but yeah. it's, it's, it's smells... light. It's it's not bad. It's nice. It doesn't it's a smell nice like smell. Monkey. <laughs> um, I can say that the men's smells better than the woman's. Yeah. You know the one that he has, but it's not bad overall. That's good. No. So what else you got? So I have Hollister, like mm -hmm. I just mentioned, okay. Hollister waves too. You saw this in one of my videos, of course. Uh, my past videos. Uh, actually, it's a top, uh, you know, watch video. Thank God, you guys enjoy that. And uh, you saw some, you know, clips of Arizona. Uh, beautiful, beautiful place to be. And when you spray this on, this has more of a uh, aquatic scent to it, of course, as well. And then, you know, it lasts six hours. Uh, a little synthetic, a little alcoholish. Uh, then you have your citrusy vibes. It's very fresh, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's been around since 2017, so it's Odie. You know, I'm sure Hollister made a newer version by now. Uh, it has lavender in this, like I mentioned, uh, white pepper, uh, water, musk, and then sandalwood. It's not very many notes in this, many ingredients, but. It, uh, it is really good guys. I would go get this one. I recommend this one Definitely and then we head to Express one of my other favorite stores uh, We both love Express, but you know, they can get kind of pricey yeah. So I understand when you can't when you don't have the means to get a designer fragrance and you want it You know result to getting these cheapies for you for yourself. It's called 17 and Brock's now this is very nice. I want you to smell that. It has like a vanilla-ish vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. But it has- like baking a cake. Yeah, it has cedar, smoky woods, and then like I said, vanilla. Uh, I got this because I was just, you know, browsing Express, you know, buying a shirt, and I just I just love unboxing by itself, mixed in with a little cedar, like I said. Mm -hmm. And uh it actually lasts about maybe six hours on my skin, so okay. that's really nice, okay. guys. Check out Express. <clears throat> my next one, guys, we're keeping it rolling. Uh, Banana Republic, modern, very nice. I love the bottle. I love mm -hmm. how the glass is looking like cedar blocks of a, a house or a window. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. yeah, it's real nice, mm -hmm. right? And the atomizer on this is perfect, huh? Yeah, like the black windows of the basement. Yeah, mm -hmm. our basement, yeah. Now, Banana Republic, this has been out since 1997, so this is very old. Uh, five hour sillage, of course. It's fresh, it's woody, it's sweet, spicy, and uh, has a lot of greenery to it, and it's citrusy, so you can't go wrong with that. And as of as uh ingredients that are just you know unique and uh i would say when i spray this what vibe do i get i get more of a uh masculine dominant vibe also you know this is the particular fragrance that you definitely want to you know be dressed up mm -hmm. yeah. kind of formal in yeah, a way, more formal, yeah. yeah, but it's really good, guys. Good. And plus, I like Banana mm -hmm. Republic. It's kind of, it's a good store. You ever been to Banana Republic? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. I think I, I haven't really been too much. Yeah, I think I've maybe too once. Many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. But um, all right, guys. The last one of the store bought is this was recommended. None other mm -hmm. than. Sean John 3 a.m. I see a lot of YouTube reviewers with this, uh, you know, particular fragrance. The Automizer is perfect, like you guys mentioned, or they referred it. 
to me as. Oh wow, that's nice. Clean. It's very, it's very clean. Fresh. I like the bottle. Of mm -hmm. course, glass. It's sort of like similar to Banana Republic, right there, but a little different. And uh, I'm not a big fan of Sean John or Diddy, but you know I was back in the day. But it's not a fragrance that you should take lightly. It's very nice, very yeah. clean. Uh, fig leaf, you got orange blossom. Mm -hmm. You have geranium in here. I think that's the geranium that's making it okay. smell a little, uh, you know, earthy. Then mm -hmm. <clears throat> you got tonic water. Oh, nice. That's what we drink. We drink <laughs> hey, COVID free. Anyways, and then we come down to some leather. So it's good. Very nice. Good collection. Yeah, so now we're gonna get to some designers and let you start off with the designers. Okay. Throw it over to her. I'm just gonna do a couple of them. One of them, uh, of course, I've done. It's the one from Marc Jacobs that's so cute, cool looking. It's a um, divine decadence, like a little purse. Look at that. See? Awesome. So nice. Awesome. And then the automizer, you lift up. Yeah, it has champagne, orange blossom, bergamot, uh, gardenia, honeysuckle, vanilla, all these great things blended together. Uh, it's about seven hours on this one. And- I'm surprised you haven't wore that more. I wear it. Yeah, I've been wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you I could, mean, I recognize that she wears it. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, I'm surprised it's not a dent in the bottle yet. <laughs> I mean, uh, evening, daily, um, spring. It's a spring, fall, so it's transitional okay. kind of a scent. Okay. Yeah, so in the summertime, maybe we stick with, you know, Aqua de Joya or something, you know. Okay. That's a good one. That is um, good. It's my favorite. Yep. And then after that, we have Versace, Versense. I love that bottle. Yeah. It's not, not you know, it's very sleek. Nothing to it, but yeah. it's Show very the front. nice. Top. This is the front. This is the top. That is nice. Yeah. Guys, this is quality uh, designer fragrances right here. Automizer spray. That automizer is perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, this is like a citrusy lime type scent. Yeah, it has a little greenery to mm -hmm. it. Yes. So this one has bergamot, prickly pear. Mm, um, that's what it is. The yeah. Pear. Okay. And green mandarin orange, followed by jasmine, sea lily, cardamom, musk, olive wood, sandalwood, cedar wood. So it has the woods at the bottom notes. Um, it's last about six hours on that one. Mm -hmm. But of course, according to your skin type, mm -hmm. you know your pheromones maybe it lasts longer for you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it's floral, synthetic, a little bit sweet. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, you can wear it in leisure business. Yes. Um, pretty much anywhere daily. Um, sporty too. So if you're playing sports or something, oh, okay. I didn't know working it was out. Yeah, you could you could use it there. Um, and right after the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spring, summer. So that's a nice spring summer. So ever coming in French spring summer. Ever coming in ever coming in French. Ever coming in French. <laughs> and, <laughs> <the Versace. laughs> and then the divine decadence, that's spring, fall, spring. So nice. Yeah. So right. that's mine. Nice. How okay. about you? What else do you got? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see you're gonna see what else I got because this is new. <laughs> before oh, the new. time runs out again, guys, on on my GoPro 9. That's what we shoot on now, and uh, nice. man, it's been it's been showing great quality, giving us great shots, and uh, we're, we're grateful to have it. And also, guys, this is new to the channel. We're coming in with Prada Luna Ooh. Carbon. So fresh, so dominant, so masculine, and that spray alone, this atomizer. Great. I'm so excited for this fragrance because. You know, one of my good friends wants to get, uh, buy this off of me, actually, because it came in the mail and I was like, ah, you can have it once I, you know, get it. But, you know, this is actually my, my what, fourth time smelling it. I wore it a little bit so I could test it. 
beautiful fragrance. Yes. Yeah. Seven hour siage. And then also, sorry. Then it has that iris, that sweet smell in the beginning mm -hmm. notes, then yeah. a little synthetic where it's like kind of, you know, uh, uh, it's like a turn off a little bit because it just, it gets into an alcoholish vibe. But then that spiciness kicks in. And then also, uh, excuse me, then the leisure, it's good for leisure, daily, like I said, business. Mm -hmm. And um, it has a zest, clean smell to it. And I like the bottle itself, you know, you got the carbon right there. I don't know if you guys see that. And then you got the writing all around the cap. And you can't go wrong with it. And then we have a little bit of you, which is uh, Italian bergamot. So. <laughs> <laughs> which tops everything off that I like. And, uh, <laughs> and then Ambroxan, like I said, like I mentioned with the Express, the Ambroxan is a beautiful note in this carbon as well too. So you can't go wrong with any of these. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. Hit the bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, if you like all this content. We do uh, have our summer, like I said, top thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that would be it. <laughs> you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for the time that you take um, to listen. And, and thank you for the thumbs up. And, subscribing yeah I mean we, we need we need more it. likes on the uh, channel yeah. guys we got 85% that is not subscribed mm -hmm. 85 but we have been doing well because we are at 160 yeah. let's get those you know likes and you know things going uh, you know a little running a little smoothly guys if you want to see any other fragrances you know brought on the channel if you're interested yeah. Let us know, you know, down in the comment yeah. section. And uh, all these fragrances are beautiful. I love this. This is what I do. It's my passion. And, you know, she loves this too as well. So, hey. And we love God. So, bless up. God first. See you later.